Hey guys, kumusta? Welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to show you how I shade my portraits. So first of all, shout out to RTX for the sponsor of this video. Okay guys, first step is find a good reference with a good lighting on the Pinterest, usually like this. I don't use the overexposed reference because you can't really see the shadows into it so most likely better choose a juicy reference so that you can achieve the highlights of the skin tones clear. So usually it takes me a while to download some reference of the one that I like to draw and then I compress it all using the app called Freeform. I drag it all the reference that I downloaded and I arrange it based on my sketchbook ratio like this. Or the easier, you can just create a double tab on your display to drag and drop the images on freeform. And then, boom, voila! You can now have a gallery for your references. To start with my sketch, I use a HB pencil by RTX. This pencil is my first time of using it and it has a set of 14 pieces of pencils, a sketch pad for sketching and a 3 pieces of blender tool and it is called sketching rubbing sponge. My sketch is finally done. Now I will shade this using the 2B pencil by RTX for the skin tones. Just make sure that your pencil is look like this so that you can shade faster. But not like this guys, it can be depressing when it breaks. So this is the first layer of my shading and if you're satisfied with your shading, I will now use a banana rubbing sponge by RTX. So this might be one of my favorite part because if you blend it using this sponge, it will fasten your shading, it will cover up the skin tone just a second, and not at all. You can also achieve this very smooth texture to your drawing but it depends on what paper you are using. So if that's enough to you, you can just erase the edges in the drawing. But I'm not just erasing guys, I'm doing this for the shape that I wanted in my drawing. So for the second layer, I add another shading for this drawing, so this will be the shadow part. Basically, you just need a specific pencil to this one, I'm just gonna go and add another shading and imagine where the highlights came from. Just leave that part and trust the process, it doesn't need to be perfect. Or you can just erase the highlights first, it's up to you. So this is where the magic happens for the third layer. I got my eraser into these triangular shapes and I erased the highlights based on where the light source came from. So you don't need to copy the highlights based on your reference because it will be much better if you break down the highlights into shapes like the oval, triangular, but mostly I use a triangular shapes for my highlights. And then 
finally, I use a darker pencil by RTX and I shade it based on what's on the reference. For the same process, I smudge all the shading that I did, so just remember guys, you don't need to smudge all the shading because I wanted a small amount of texture in this drawing. And of course, smudging with your fingers works well too, but you just need to be careful, you know. So for the main points of my shading, if your drawing is blocking up the shadow on your reference, it would be better if you edit your reference into black and white and decrease the brightness and a little bit of highlights on your reference because this will help you to see the shadow value on the reference and I do this a lot in my commissions for the past year. And lastly, sharp your pencil like this and then apply directly to the edges of the outlines. I add some hatching techniques and also don't forget to flip your sketchbook for the better results. So here's the result guys, this is how I shade my portraits. It is not the best yet but I really enjoyed the process that I made. To let me go.